So recently, I played a game called Spell Rune. It's a game with 26% positive reviews on Steam, and it's a shameless Slay the Spire clone. Spell Rune copied Slay the Spire's game mechanics one for one, and even stole the UI. It was bad, and the game didn't even function after my second fight, no matter how many times I restarted. So I thought it might be good to make a video about these kinds of indie game ripoffs, because as much as I love seeing games inspired by my favorite games, it's not right to plagiarize other people's work just to make quick money. So I started looking through Steam for more similar indie game ripoffs, and one of the first games I found was Royal Booty Quest. And if you just look at the Steam screenshots, this is an even worse clone than Spell Rune. Not only has it copied Slay the Spire's game mechanics, it even copied the content. The cards are one-to-one -one copies from Slay the Spire. And it's not even trying to hide it, it's just the exact same game as Slay the Spire, but with this low effort pixel art. But the weirdest thing about this is that this game has vastly better reviews than Spell Rune. If I look at the reviews, I can see that the top review is just calling it out for a theft, because it is. But then we scroll down a little bit and there's tons of positive reviews. And like if you look at a review like this, this person's played the game for one hour and they've written a whole essay on things about the game, which looks oddly suspicious as if it's an AI generated review. So I took a look at this game dev, Atomic Fabric, and I found the mother load of game ripoffs. These devs make over a game a week, and they have been for years. Ever since late 2021, they've been making a game each week or more. And I saw these games, some of them were priced at $260. And my first thought was, okay, these guys are clearly money laundering. But then I started thinking about it some more and I thought, okay, if they're money laundering, why are there these clearly fake AI generated reviews on their games. Why would they even go through that trouble? And then why would they make more than a game each week? If they're money laundering, they don't need that many games. They can do it with one game or they could release like a game each year and pass themselves off as a game dev. They don't need to do it every week. Like for instance, okay, let's take a look at Next Station Zombies, one of their recent releases from July. This game costs $260 and it's got 100% positive reviews. And let's just take a look at the person who wrote the top review. They have 751 reviews on their Steam account, and if we look at their reviews, they all have the same playtime. 1.3 hours. Oh, what a weird coincidence that they've played these three games from Atomic Fabric all for the same amount of time and then left a positive review. But even despite the obvious dishonesty that's going on here, I couldn't figure out why they were pricing their games at 260 bucks. Because there has to be more to it than them just hoping that someone accidentally buys it for that price. Because it's, it's just not going to happen, and if they did, they would just refund the game. So I started googling around until I I found this. So this is a video by Giuseppe talking about his experience buying random Steam Key packages through Steam Key resellers like G2A. And the thing I found was the first game he played was actually a game by Atomic Fabric. It's a game called The Last Hope Atomic Bomb Crypto War. And as soon as I found this Steam page, things started to click. These are five random VIP keys that you can buy for just over 10 bucks, but you can buy different tiers of keys which give you games of different values. If you read more about this, they guarantee that you get games worth a certain price. And the review scores have to be overall positive or higher. Now you might say, okay, but they don't need to price their games at 260 bucks. They just need to price their games high enough that they can get them into these bundles. But the reason why they're pricing their games at 260 bucks, it's pretty simple. In order for a review to count toward the review score, it needs to be purchased through Steam. So in other words, once their review score for a specific game reaches a certain amount, they just need to price their game at a prohibitively high cost and no one else is gonna buy it, so their review score is essentially protected. And if someone does actually buy it, then that's still a W for them because they just spent 200 plus dollars. Now I looked into how many keys these devs could get and 
and for each game that they release, they can get up to 5,000 keys, no questions asked. These 5,000 keys can all be sold to Steam Key resellers who are offering these key loot boxes, and that's just pure profit. They can just spend half a week on a game, then get 5,000 keys and sell them to all these different vendors. But I thought, okay, maybe I'm being too cynical here. Maybe I'm being too skeptical. So I'm gonna buy one of these game key packages and I'll be back in a minute to show you what I got. In a set of five random Steam keys, I got four games from Atomic Fabric and one of the worst civilization games. Crazy Goat, Find the Way Out, Samurai, The Last Hero, Draw the Road, and then I got Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. Ironically, the lowest reviewed game out of the five. The keys are advertised on G2A as being selected at random, when it seems like they're not selected, but instead being sold to vendors under the table, potentially by the thousands. I was promised good, high-quality games, but instead, I got a bunch of shovelware, which, to be fair, is exactly what I expected to happen. But maybe we're judging Atomic Fabric too quickly. I wanted to see the best that they had to offer, so I bought keys for 10 of their games, which in total are valued at $2,000 on the Steam Store, and I played them on stream for 30 minutes each. Throughout this process, we learned some new things about Atomic Fabric, and we realized there was some more shady stuff going on than we'd initially thought. For the sake of my sanity, I decided to let myself tap out and move on to the next game three times, just in case they were too painful. We started with Fly Fly Tuck Tuck. It's time for Fly Fly Tuck Tuck. <laughs> oh my god, why is it so low quality? <laughs> this is a JPEG that's like tiny as hell just scratched out to the entire screen. Amazing game challenge. Hell yeah. Oh, we have to unlock some Tuck Tucks. All right, let's get started. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Just going down a giant half pipe. Oh, oh, oh. We're going the other way now. What do you mean? This is not a mobile game. This is a Steam game. <laughs> these, wait, these are actually touch controls though. <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> we didn't make it. You are good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the encouragement. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. All right. We got 750 coins, too. Wait, is this the same? Oh no, there's a there's a little boost strip. It's different. Oh. Oh my god. Why didn't I hit that sooner? I'm gonna go over top the level. Jesus Christ. Amazing. Oh, th this level's different. <gasps> you actually have to drive. It's not just a straight ramp. It's a circular ramp. <laughs> There's the ramp. <laughs> no, it's just the same thing as before. Oh shit, I'm spinning. Jesus, we're going to f***ing heaven. Oh, no, we're still going to the finish line. Awesome. I'm not sure what the rings do exactly. It just gives me the Sonic collecting a ring sound. Slow down. No. <laughs> Perfect. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's gonna give me a nausea. This is exactly where we were trying to go. <laughs> Get me back onto the ramp, please. Oh man, I hate when this happens. Gotta restart. Oh, it doesn't even restart you to the beginning. Okay, just restarts you to the ramp. I like how it says turn on boost. I'm not even gonna play the game. Just tell me exactly what to do. There isn't even a driver in the front seat. The driver is God. Jesus, we're going to fucking heaven. I know I complain about this all the time. But the text is not centered! <laughs> Why isn't the text centered? <laughs> Who needs F099? <laughs> this is the spiritual successor to F0. Oh, we've got some hazards. 
No way. Like, what happens if you get hit? Oh, shit. You are good. <laughs> Gets me every time. Oh, what's this? What the f***? What the f*** is that? What are these boulders? They just go through the ground. <gasps> are we done? I was having such a good time. I'm buying the Tuk Tuk made out of gold. Wait. I can't buy it. The buy button doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, it's 9,000 real dollars. Oh, it's not in-game money. It costs 9,000 real money. We're gonna play Cowboy Girl. Ignore that. This is safe for work, right? <laughs> this is safe for stream, right? <laughs> Should this be cowgirl? No, it's cowboy girl. <laughs> it's cowboy girl. Okay, don't question it. <laughs> WASD space. That's the controls. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't that a beautiful face? <laughs> okay, let's play. No, oh, I can see my butt cheeks. Ignore that. Totally normal. Why does the screen flash like that? Why? Why? So you just, you have to wait for the reticle to appear, and then you hit spacebar. Otherwise you just hit right and left. Yeah, circles. I'm slightly concerned, but it's okay. I, I think. I hope. Actually, I'm tapping out. We're done with this game. <laughs> We're done with that game. Next up, we have the Smash Cars Tournament. First, let's look at this game trailer. Oh, you got music. Very suiting music for a car arena tournament game. Okay. Take a look at this. Does this look similar to what you just saw in that trailer? Does this remind you of anything? <laughs> so surely, Smashy Drive copied Atomic Fabric, right? It can't be the other way around. They wouldn't be selling a copied game on Steam for 130 bucks. They wouldn't do that. Oh, so you just tap the left mouse button, like... And you just... Oh, I lost. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I did the same thing. This is extremely hard to control. Oh my god. I just tapped it for like a millisecond. Do -do. This is some amazing gameplay. I want to tap out here. I want to give up, but at the same time... The distance you go is random. I swear to God. Like, this isn't my first video game. I know how long I'm clicking the mouse for. The distance that you go is just random. It's random. How am I supposed to control the truck if the distance I go each time I click is random? I think they actually, like, programmatically made the distance that you go random. I'm clicking the same every time. And sometimes I go, like, two feet, and sometimes I go 20. See that? It's the same click. It probably is like frame rate based physics. And like sometimes when you hit it, it accelerates for two frames. And sometimes when you hit it, it's only one frame. That's just random because it depends on the frame timing. <sighs> oh, oh my God. What the hell is that? Why did I just drive fast? What is this purple shit? Yeah, this is like a missing texture, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think these are supposed to be spikes, but they're missing the texture, and if you touch them, you just fly. We are done. What a banger. Thank you, Dora Games. Totally real company. Yeah, this is definitely another mobile game copy. It has mobile game buttons on the trailer. So you just guide a bullet to the end through the enemies? Oh, amazing. We had it so good with Duck Duck. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that Keanu Reeves? This is like John Wick. Oh, I can use WA. Oh, don't hit the dog, Jesus. This says failed, but it's not on screen. <laughs> this is amazing gameplay. So far, it's not that hard, especially compared to the last game we played. Wait, what does that say? Hydro Storm 2? Wait, they, had, they just have a game advertisement in this game? Can I go backwards? Oh, you totally can. What is this? 
This game is worth 130 bucks. That's what it is. So the buildings are like reused. Sometimes they move them around, but this is this part's always at the end. The levels are so similar. Okay. Please, for the love of fucking God, tell me Mission 50 is the end so I can stop playing like two minutes early. Please. It keeps fucking going. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this is mission one B-side, actually. <laughs> can I fly into the building? Yep, you, you can fly into the building, all right. This might be a world first. I might be the first person to have got this far in the game. Surely, though, the reviews that played this game for like five hours, those reviewers must have experienced this, right? Oh, maybe you just have to shoot yourself. <laughs> like, just turn around. Oh, I'm not even there. Kenu Funko was a ghost all along. Amazing. Yo, look at this. Why is it so reflective? Actually, why can I see the reflection of the outdoors on the fire truck even though we're indoors? <laughs> Daily reward. Oh, we got a roulette. We got 750 coins. Stay tuned to get more free spin. Timer is going. Let's play the game. <laughs> remove ads. <laughs> Hold on. This game has ads? Do you want to purchase remove ads? Environment fake store. Buy. I want to remove the ads. <laughs> also, I want to buy more coins. Mega coin chest. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Look at all the money we got. Hell yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, we can we can probably get all the fire trucks. Oh, there's three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> Why don't we have any music outside the title screen? Come on. Just gotta follow the rainbow arrows on the ground. Oh my god. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Oh my god. Why is it do- Stop that. Okay, I'm just stuck. I like how the trash heap is just like a JPEG. <laughs> Painted over. I guess we gotta restart <laughs> because we touched we touched a wall and got stuck. Oh shit! I want I have to uh, speed run this so I get three stars. What is this button on the left? I'm controlling with WASD. Oh shit! I'm missing my stop. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. What is the text on that button? I beat the first level! I got 1.8 stars. <laughs> Wait, is this the same level? <laughs> All right, same level as before. Oh, but the fire's in a different spot. Oh, it says button. It says button. I had to like get closer to the screen. All right, time for level three. Fly Fly Tuck Tuck had much better physics, gotta say. I'm not even hitting the cars, I'm just fucking shooting past them. <laughs> okay, so there's 10 levels. Okay, we can do that. My ears get blasted every time I get into this scene. The audio just spikes. I actually think Fly Fly Tuck Tuck is like the best game we've played so far, by far. Shouldn't we have passed the 10th level by now? Maybe we're just, are we just replaying the same level over and over? Maybe it extends past 10 levels after you get to the 10th level? Let's check. Yeah. We beat the game! The King's Castle. I wonder what, which mobile game was copied this time. You can see the developer used the same assets as Fortress Defense Complete Game and King Bird Defense by Fox Games. Holy shit. This guy has like a list of games that Atomic Fabrics made that are copies of uh, other mobile games. Okay, there's no music or anything on the screen. There's just a play game button. I mean, that's what I want to do anyway, so that's fine. Oh, music. What is this screen? I just have to click on this. Oh, what? <laughs> what is going on? Oh, I, there's the main menu. <laughs> you can see the main menu if you scroll through the map. Wow. Where's the cash shop on this one? I just want to get all the gold from the start. Step ordering the orc clan. Remember, this game is 260 bucks. What? Oh, you have a max unit count. 
Oh, they're attacking my castle. Oh shit! My castle's dying! Tiff's <laughs> upgrade army. <laughs> I I lost again! Tip <laughs> upgrade army. So I just need to create a death ball. Okay, we're good. Oh, what? Oh, you can combine your units together. Oh my god, but now they're attacking the castle. Dude! Dude, get the goblin! Fight that guy! He's ki he's killing the castle, dude! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my god, please. Please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh shit! No, 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 no! 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 Stop, stop! <laughs> I'm doing my best! Oh shit. Please. Oh, they just ran past me. They just insta killed my castle! <laughs> you guys see that shit? They just walked straight through it like I wasn't even fucking there. We might need to tap out on this one. This is. <sighs> this game is rough. Stop. <laughs> Stop walking backwards. Okay. <gasps> we won! <laughs> Tips upgrade army. Oh, okay. Thank you. Finally, I can actually upgrade the army. Wait. All the upgrades cost 100, and I only got 50. Dude. It costs 5,000 to get a different unit, and I got 50? <laughs> I had to tap out of the King's Castle. The game was just broken, and the only reason why I even beat the first level was just pure luck. But now I'm going into the mixed review score games with just one tap out remaining. And I've got to get through four, starting with The Hidden Ghost. Oh, it's by Beam Bong Games. What other games have they- oh, it's Atomic Fabric. <laughs> you actually click on it, it goes to Atomic Fabric. But it's not Atomic Fabric, guys. It's Beam Bong Games, okay? Alright, let's look at this gameplay. Oh, it's like Reverse Pac-Man. Alright, let's play The Hidden Ghost. I'm excited. Where, where have I heard this music before? What is this UI? This is offensive. They have some stuff in the background behind this giant button, but I can't read it. Select character. It's all the same character, but with a different hat. They're all just the same with different costumes. The, the picture is over top of the retry button. Can I still click it? Nope. I can't click the retry button because there's a picture over top of it. Why does it say day two in the main menu? But then I start and it goes back to day one. Oh, this is gonna be like the Keanu Reeves game, where it's just all the same level over and over. Oh god. If I die, I have to restart from like the very- Oh! Okay, if you hit the retry button fast enough, like before that artwork pops up, you can still hit it. I died? I killed both the enemies. Hurry the f*** up, game. Keep up. What? Oh no! I can't get the retry button. <laughs> I have to start over. Oh my god. Oh wait, I'm on day 9. What? It was starting me back at day 10 before. Or day 1, sorry. Oh my fucking god. Oh, we've got like a new level layout. At least the levels are like slightly different. Oh no, we're just back to the previous level layout. Okay, the levels aren't really that different. There's like a few layouts, and they just kind of get tossed in randomly. This is the exact same as before. So it's just like random? They don't even have like level design, it's just randomized? Or did they manually place the- This is the same level three times in a row! This is the same goddamn level three times in a row! Jesus Christ! Is it just gonna keep being the same level every time? Yeah. Does this count as beating the game? This is like 10 times in a row. So we beat the game. I think we can officially say that much. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Oh my god. This music, really? Warning, asset flip <laughs> once again. <laughs> the asset in question is Crashy Racing by SG Lip. Yep, it's the exact same game. Look at this. Oh, it looks, looks kind of familiar, doesn't it? Actually, this looks better than the other one. Wait, it actually says Crashy Racing. 
Like the game they stole from. They didn't even change the title screen and they put it on Steam under another name. Select character. You mean car? If this is an endless runner game, then I'll have to go for 30 minutes, I guess. Amazing. Why is it laggy? It's like super laggy. That is not very pleasant to look at. Maybe it's like the vehicle collision or something? Because it's larger than the other one? See, this one doesn't have the jank lag. I still have one more give up. I feel like maybe I should use it now, because the upcoming games, I might be able to actually beat them. But I can't beat this game, because it's an, it just goes on forever. Well, the other games are reviewed just as bad as this one, which is kind of scary. They might be a whole lot worse than this, so I feel like maybe I should save it. Well, there's a fucking car crash in the middle of the street. <laughs> Yeah, the first game, the first game, I didn't know how good I had it. Fly Fly Tuck Tuck, that's a banger, banger game. Yeah, do not support G2A or any of those sites, any of the gray market key resellers. I say that even though I use them for this video, but it's kind of like, I wanna, I definitely wanna talk about this because it's a super scummy practice. Because if, if you think about it, the people buying these random keys, they're probably people, some of them are gonna be people who just like wanna build a bigger Steam library, so they have a bigger library count, bigger number on their Steam page, on their profile page, because for some reason people care about that. But some of them are people who like can't afford regular games, so they buy this shit and then they get this. And I think that's kind of that's kind of sad. That's kind of deceptive and exploiting people, especially when the, these games themselves are being stolen. So you're fucking over not only the people who are buying your product, but you're fucking over the devs of the game that you stole. Like that's insane. Thank fucking god. Supreme race on highway. Where's the race? I'm just driving down the highway. What the hell is this image? School bus driver simulator. Wait, where have we seen this? Where have we seen this screen before? This is UI. Also reminds me of something. Hmm. You know how you know that it's a school bus? It just says school bus on it. It says school bus on the back and on the top. <laughs> this game may be a virus. Oh my god. I ended up with my computer getting really hot after installing it and stuttering a lot. I removed it from my computer and it seems to be going back to normal. Someone gifted this for me when it was originally 99 cents, but on sale for 79 cents. Don't buy this asset flip, not even to make a video about it. Wait, oops. <laughs> Despite the store page proudly claiming more than 10 levels with different routes, there are exactly 10 levels, so just like in the fire truck game. And the routes often repeat as well. So this is probably the same as the fire truck game. Alright, let's play. Where have I seen this wheel before? Oh, I got 1500. Stay tuned to get more free spin. Will do. I want the school bus with the fastest speed. This is the best one I can buy right now. <laughs> it just sounds like a fucking race car. I just let the kid off in the middle of the street. <laughs> just, <laughs> just get gets hit by a car. <laughs> Bus driver, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Where's your stop sign? Don't worry. Kids are expendable. <laughs> I'm here for the money. Just make the kid walk into the middle of the street. <laughs> If we speedrun this, we can move on to the next game and then immediately quit out <laughs> and then end the stream. <laughs> Not that I want to rush this gameplay. I want to take my time and enjoy it. But, I mean... <laughs> Does this game freak out if you hit a wall? Oh yeah, the camera still freaks out, like in the fire truck simulator. <laughs> you just touch a wall, any wall, and your camera just freaks out. Also, I'm not bringing them to any school. Did anyone notice that? Okay, we just got a couple, few more levels to go. <laughs> Why is this door just open? That's dangerous. It's pretty impressive that they made a school bus simulator where there's no schools. You just fucking drive around in circles, drop kids off in random places. <gasps> we beat the game! Watch. I hit the next button. We're done. All 10 levels completed. It is time for the last game. The Last Hope Atomic Bomb Crypto War. <laughs> oh boy. 
The ongoing struggle between mobsters, terrorists, and President John Trump has now shifted its focus towards cryptocurrency. Your mission, while not as easy as it may appear, is to locate the cryptocurrency farm and put an end to this senseless war once and for all. Interesting? If you're looking for a challenge of going from point A to point B by way of bulleting some bad guys in the face along the way, this game delivers it, and it's bearable. It's bearable? The shooting is normal. <laughs> the animations are acceptable. You can buy at a discount. Don't pay full price for this piece of shit. Basically what you're telling me. Okay. <laughs> Alright, new game. Oh, you can kill enemies. Already better than I expected. Why is it so foggy? Why is the music... ...changing based off my camera? <laughs> Why would that ever happen? <laughs> is this what a crypto war is like? What does this have to do with crypto war? Why... why? I guess if you make the map super dark and foggy, it hides all the, like, broken terrain. <laughs> Why am I underground and there are trees here? Oh, new level. Oh look, this level's red. We're on Mars now, <laughs> yep. We are on Mars, fighting the crypto war. All these enemies are just spawning. Why are there so many, all of a sudden? There's one right behind the tank. Oh, there's one inside the tank. Okay. <laughs> We're back at the fucking start. <laughs> is this level going to end? Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, there's just staircases going into the sky. Interesting. This game is rough. It wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fogginess, but I also know that the fogginess, like, the game is foggy so that they can hide that there's, like, no detail in any of the textures or anything. You know, look at this. This is just, like, block buildings, essentially. Oh, is this the end of the level? Uh, okay. There was an invisible wall. I haven't seen an enemy for like five minutes. Oh, there we go. Final level. And that's it. We're done! You can save the game. The button does nothing. Oh, the exit. The exit game button doesn't do anything either. That's amazing. <laughs> Hopefully this has taught everyone a lesson today. Not to buy these random Steam Key products on G2A and elsewhere because they're not random. They are atomic fabric games. <laughs> you don't fucking want to play them. You're not getting VIP games worth $40. You're getting these pieces of shit that were stolen from other devs or templates for video games. These are worse than the worst reviewed games on Steam, like the other ones that I've been playing. These are so much fucking worse. It's not even close.